First of all, let me say, great ideas are born here, in my lab. Okay, where else can you think? Unimpeded. Here's a setup that you can greatly improve the aesthetics upon. Number one, outside this little water puddle, this is the main focus, the main crux of everything. It's an RF directional coupler with audio pass through. And when coupled to the insignia, 10 dB of RF boost and a suitable antenna that is pointing in the right direction, you can turn this little gadget into a tuner. E ukulele, C zither. Come on, listen, you can't win unless you give it a shot, so go ahead. Next, we okay. down to number one, this week's top three. That's Youngstown, 45 miles away. We'll go from ho hum to oyum. Break the monotony, spam.com. Hi, I'm Jillian Michaels. You want to jumpstart your weight control program to see results fast? Try my 14 day cleanse and burn jumpstart kit. Use it to kick off any sensible diet and exercise. Let's time. pull the RF. Get the and get them fast. Watch what happens. Better. Guaranteed. You may hold on to the pad, but it's not going to sound the same. The bathroom is pretty RF hostile because it's far away from the window which makes for a superb demonstration of focused RF coupling. Here's the main device. This is the RF cable side right here. Typical F connector cable is what's right there. This is the feed that leads to the radio. So that sends RF to the radio. It extracts audio, stereo left and right, from the radio. These are the three RF chokes. This one over here is the ground choke. That's the only one that's not bypassed. This side here forms the connection for the audio output which goes to your amplifier, powered speakers, or what have you. I'll back up from this uh, crop shot and uh, show you the rest of the connections. Here's your ground. In this case the right channel is the black wire on Radio Shack's Y uh, adapters and the left channel happens to be the red wire. So consequently here is your right channel choke, your left channel choke, and the respective feeds coming from the radio. Left channel, right channel, ground. Now what you may not be able to see that well, there's a capacitor here, and this particular one is used to couple the RF into it from the actual F connector feed. And the F connector feed is what gives you the RF coming from your external antenna. So that's DC coupled into a 100 picofarad cap and it's attached to this line here. That line happens to be the right channel. And all my tests conclude that if you inject RF into the right channel, it has the best uh, success pattern for hitting the front end of the radio itself. And of course the return is the common ground. So the ground braid from the RF feed hits the radio side ground of the ground choke. The audio side of the ground choke remains free, uncapped, so that that ground has no RF, which is key to providing substantial isolation from the audio side and 
allowing the RF side to shoot straight towards the radio. In addition, you've got a ground here. Not a, well, what you have is on the passive side, the audio side, you have RF decoupling from the right channel, and there's one on the opposite side which decouples the left channel. I'll try flipping this over because those guys are hidden, or he is hidden. Over here, that's where I mounted the 100 picofarad uh, bypass cap for the left channel RF bypassing. So it's going from here to here. The same way the other one that you see resonant here, maybe if I move it this way you can see it. This guy here is going directly across what is the right channel and what is the ground return. Okay, let's pull back a little bit so you can see the connections. Here's the RF. It loops all the way around, goes into the 10 dB preamp right there, which is used to overcome the massive insertion, insertion loss. Here's the direct feed uh, going to the radio, which includes RF input, audio output, all uh, multiplexed into that line. Here's your audio output, which has the left and right minus DRF. And that will run into the speakers. I'll provide some uh, demo audio.